Hi, I'm Dr. David Cody, and in this video I'll be examining Dorian's feet. Dorian has foot pain due to underlying inflammatory arthritis. Dorian, is it okay if I examine your feet? Yes, fine. So, although you're going to perform an examination of the foot and ankle, it's useful to do a general inspection first. Is the patient well? Have they got any walking aids, for example? Firstly, I'm going to observe the feet, comparing both sides. Ideally, this would be done with the patient standing up. So, I tend to divide uh, the observation of the foot into three parts. I think about the forefoot, the midfoot and the hindfoot. And again, I will think about layers. So, I'll think about looking at skin changes, the soft tissue and the muscles and tendons underneath, through to the bone and joint structure. As part of skin changes, don't forget to look for psoriasis, nail changes, skin rashes, scars or rheumatoid nodules. Look at the big toes to see if there's alignment. Has the patient got hallux valgus, for example? Is the clawing of the lesser toes? Are the calluses on the tops of the toes from shoes rubbing? Are changes symmetrical or asymmetrical? Symmetrical changes would be present in rheumatoid arthritis, asymmetrical in psoriatic arthritis. Is the loss of the arch of the foot when looking at the midfoot? Then I'll get the patient to turn around and look at the back of the foot. So if I could just turn, turn away from me, Dorian. Okay, so when from behind, I'll be looking at the lower leg, the heel and the ankle to see is the leg in alignment and the hind foot, is there a varus or a valgus deformity at all? Is the subluxation of the subtalar joint? I'll ask the patient if their feet are painful. Are they sore at the back there, Dorian? No. I'm just going to gently feel over the Achilles tendon for tenderness and thickening. Ideally, I'd also get the patient to stand on tiptoes to look at the mid arch at that point. But for Dorian, this would be uncomfortable because she's had surgery on her forefoot and finds it uncomfortable to stand on tiptoes. So at this point, I'm going to ask the patient to walk and I'm going to examine the patient's gait. I'll just get you to turn around. That's great. So if I could just ask you to take a few steps, Dorian. And back again towards me. So we're looking at the normal cycle. Have they got normal heel strike and toe off? And Dorian's got quite an antalgic gait, so it's obviously painful for her putting the weight through the front of the foot. And if you come back to me. That's great. OK, and then I'm going to get the patient up on the couch to examine the foot in a little bit more detail. So with the patient on the couch, uh, look at the underside of the foot checking for any calluses. And then again, I'm gonna have, a, have a, a look for scars if I haven't seen them before. And then I'm gonna go on to feel. So to start with, I'm feeling for temperature across the joints. And I'll have a feel of the foot pulses also. I'm then gonna squeeze the MTPs to see if there's any tenderness or pain and watch the patient's face. Is that comfortable or That's is that fine. sore? And uh, that's, that's, a bit that's a bit tender, okay. And again, I might bimanually palpate any of the joints that I think may be swollen or sore to try and identify the cause. Then I'm going to have a little feel of the midfoot up to the ankle joint and round into the subtalar joint. Is that okay? And then I'm going to come on and do some movements with the patient. So I can ask the patient to do this themselves to start with. Just pull your foot up and down and move your feet in and the other way. That's great. And just pull your big toe up and down. Okay, I'm just going to do some of those movements myself. So I'm moving the big toe up and down. I'm just going to compare sides. And this one's a lot more painful and a lot stiffer. I'm just going to move the midfoot and just rotate the midfoot to see what the tarsal joints are like. The mid tarsal area is a bit more restricted again on the left. Then I'm going to move the subtalar joints and compare sides. And then the ankle joint itself and down. So don't forget to uh, look at the patient's shoes. Often patients with rheumatoid arthritis will have corrective footwear, 
but sometimes they can't even manage that and they have to wear some very soft uh, fitting slippers such as Dorian's got with her today. We're looking at the soles for abnormal wear, these, these look fine. So to summarise, this patient has uh, symmetrical deformities of both feet, consistent with the diagnosis of inflammatory arthritis. There's clawing of some of the toes on the right and the scars indicative of corrective surgery on the left. There are calluses above and below the MTP joints. There's tenderness squeezing across the MTP joints, particularly on the left. There's loss of range of movement in the ankle joints and particularly the left great toe. Walking is difficult due to pain and deformity. The patient walks flat-footed and is unable to stand on her toes. The diagnosis is one of inflammatory arthritis affecting both feet. You can also say if you think the rheumatoid arthritis or psoriatic arthritis dependent on the clues that you found with nail changes and joint symmetry.